Hey, all you beautiful people. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty darn good one. So today I'm really excited. We're going to be doing something I've been wanting to do pretty much from the very get-go. And uh, I've had to be really careful in getting ready for this one because uh, we had to collect up some stuff that I, I was a little cautious with collecting up. I don't know if the sun sets the process over there. I don't know. It's watching for the sunrise. <laughs> but um, we're going to be going into the ant nest the active ant nest and if we have time we'll go into the abandoned but what we're going to need first to make our lives a lot easier is the ant armor now to make this i've already got one piece but to make this we're going to need let's go in here real quick and craft let's see the ant helmet is going to be one ant head which is the hardest part to get uh, uh out of like 12 ants i've only gotten the one you're going to need three ant parts, and you're going to need five ant or mite fuzz. For the arms, you're going to need five ant parts, two fuzz, but you're also going to need two acid glands, which you get from the bombardier beetle. Uh, that's probably the actual hardest thing to get, difficulty-wise, not as hardest to find. And then for the last bit, the knees, which is really easy, you just need six ant parts, two rope, and four fuzz. And we have everything on us, so we're going to go ahead and craft this up. Uh, we have to do this in the workbench. So let's go ahead and craft it. Now the reason why we're making this is this has a added bonus to it besides just... Um, and I forgot to scan the ant hat. Tag on it. I forgot to scan the, uh, the, the ant head. <laughs> totally forgot to do that. Um, the added bonus is, one, wearing all this junk, um, we look really cool, we kind of look like a ninja, or a samurai, I mean, which is really all, really cool, all we need is a minpai, which, for those who don't know, is the face mask, um, <laughs> but what this does is, one, it lets us, uh, be the human ant, which is right here, that's what that says, which means ants will ignore us, which means the warrior ants will not bother us, two, it also lets us carry a bunch more stuff, uh, like grass and twigs and stuff like that, which I'll show you real quick. To go, actually, you know, we can go up here. I have a bunch of grass already cut down up here, so we'll just go up here real quick. Dude, dude, in the veiled base place. Eventually, we will build a base, but uh, we're waiting until they get a little bit more. The depth with the the game but that way things don't get messed up like they did as you can see right here we can now carry eight items rather than the original um i think it was five each piece gives us an extra carry stack which is nice which means you can build a lot better but what we're interested in is the human ant so we're going to head over here and i'm going to show you all how to find the ant nest real quick which okay so we're at the first Thing. Look at our map real quick. Right here. Here's the baseball. This is where you spawn at. We're at the first um, base, whatever this thing is called. This thing. Alright, so from here, there's a, a path that comes from the baseball here. This makes it super easy. You just follow this path, which we got have going into the base. And it comes out right here. And you just follow this path down through here. Now, uh, one of the difficult things is uh, the suggestion to get these parts for the ants is to look for lone ants. Because, for, from what I understand, if an ant gets away from you and he gets back to the base, you're basically going to have to deal with ants pretty much non-stop from then on out. And nobody wants that. <laughs> ants are scary. So let's do this. Let's see if this actually works. And this is where it's at. I'll show you on the map real quick. I have an ant marker next to it. It's right here. It's super easy to find. We'll zoom all the way out so you can see right there all right let's do this let's get our torch out da, da, da. i'm excited there's another one of these i want to go into it's over next to the nest or the tree i mean but i believe it connects connects to the um uh what is it called the 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 uh the tree the lab so we should be fine down here do not believe anybody is going to mess with us. 
Ooh, he seems to be ignoring us. Kind of want to do something. Huh. Kind of wish I'd have brought something with me. Um. But I'm going to be right back. We're going to do something real quick. Okay. So I'm going to try to do this. Uh, drop one. Yeah, okay. So this way I can find my way out. Drop one. Now hopefully they'll leave it alone. And I won't get lost up in here. That way I know I need to go that way to get out. Use these as trail markers. Well, there's not a lot down here, is there? It's just a big tunnel. <laughs> I actually find ants really fascinating. Like, if you've never had an ant nest or an ant farm or whatever they're called, they're really cool. Like, they burrow, they eat things, they, they make all kinds of crazy paths. This just goes around, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Don't want to get lost. So, let's come over here. And right here, let's drop one. Um, okay, let's try that again. Because I think I dropped it in the wall. Okay. And there's more right here, which is good. And I've seen the research. We're going to lose our torch. We need a craft tools uh, slime mold. I need plant fiber. Dag I don't have it. Oh well. Okay, we're going to go dark. Maybe not. We got luck. Torch is working underwater. Shit. <laughs> Just ignore that bug. I don't see a bug. I see an unplanned feature. <laughs> We're heading back up, so I'm assuming this leads to that other tunnel. Oh my goodness. There's a hole there. Oh, look at that stuff. Ooh, there's more research. Boy, you can get lost down here and bring lots of torches, y'all. Okay, so... Y'all leave that alone. Ooh, look. It's scared. A new wall or something like that. Uh... I think I like it. There we go. Yep, lots of torches, y'all. Lots of torches. Full moly. Wow, there's all kinds of science down here. Look at these. Looks like an egg. Hmm. Don't chill out. Oh, oh my. Rotten bee face mask. Uh, y'all. I said. There is a skeleton down here. There is a skeleton. Um. That's not scary at all. <laughs> What's this bee face mask? I'm not going to put it on. An intimidating face mask that's rotten and old. Its slimy texture and offensive odor suggest it's been here for quite some time. 
Well. That's not cool. Who's been down here before us and didn't make it back out? Now, see, I was kind of under the impression we could get one of those eggs back here, but... Jeez. This place is massive. I really was not expecting anywhere near this big of a area down here. And I mean, we've just gone one direction. Let there be light. Okay, I have no idea what that was. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a place... That is a badly placed drop. Let's put this one right here. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better, but still not very... Alright, so we've... Oh, we've got ant mandibles. That's... Blue. Hmm. Okay, so we're back up to the top. And we went, what, that way? No. That's the way we came from. They've moved it. Okay. So, we found a, a way around. Which means this is the way we want to go to get out right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Drop. Okay, let's go down here. We have to play down here. We're back over to X. Wonder what's down the hole. I want to go down the hole, but there's, there's no way back out of it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going down the hole. <laughs> if I don't know how to get back out, then I don't want to go that way. So let's 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 try this. Let's run back up here and go back around the way we came. See if the other passageways lead down. Okay, so we're back where the water's that way, so let's go this way. A spoiled meat. And kill burgle chips. Contains a research tech chipset. Burgle seems to like these. Oh. And a mint. Oh. And a rotten bee shoulder pad. <laughs> that is the remains of a person. <laughs> There's a mint down here. I ain't gonna mess with the mint. I'll let them have the mint. Oh, well, there we go. What do we got here? Eat. Looks like there might be something else there. Is there anything else down here? Oh, man. So, what's the hole? Okay, this is the hole right here. Alright, well, there we go. We've explored this bee, this ant hole. I almost said bee. But we've explored the ant hole. I think we, we covered every tunnel, though, didn't we? I believe so. Might be wrong. Alright, well, let's head back out. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I made a run through one more time just to make sure we didn't miss anything. We did, in fact, miss something. So we're coming down from the entrance here. And I'm going to show you exactly where this is at so you can find it as well. We come down, and this is where the split is off. And that's the one that goes down and around to the water. And if we go this way, which takes us to the room with the red, uh, red fuzz growing, now we get here, and you want to go down and across. And basically, we're going to be heading back to the room with the hole in the floor. And then we did miss something in there. And the reason we missed it the first time is because there's so many things in here moving around. It was very easy to miss. But what you want to do is you come in. The hole is right there. And up here is another piece of skeleton. Here's the lower half of the skeleton. So we found the head, the chest, and now the legs. And we need to drop something. So let's get rid of... Go ahead and drop this. And here is the shin guards. 
I'm glad I come back through because I would have been I would have been very upset and never been able to find that. So right, let's get back out and let's head back to base. And we'll stick along so you can just see real quick the route again. Because it's not hard. That right here is where you get the uh headpiece is right over here. It was My up here. Says I light up a room. It was right there. And the piece where you get the um the, the chest piece was in the hole in the room that we uh just came from for the legs, that hole right over there. I'm thirsty. It's okay, we're heading out, so let's head out, let's head back to base and let's check this armor out real quick. Okay, so let's research these ant parts real fast. I can't there we go. So the ant head is going to give us the ant worker head mount. Cool. Alright, so let's do the ant mandibles. That gives us the stuffed soldier ant, the soldier ant head mount, and a sap catcher. I didn't, hmm, didn't know about that one. Okay, well, there we go. We researched those real quick. Now, we came back over here because we got two burgle chips. So let's see, let's see what these do. I found a burgle chip. So what did that do? If you have any extra rock oh, we can learn a lot more now. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if that's exact actually what we did. So No, it did not add any more. Huh. Meat shield scab. Eye patch. Fiber. Huh. I'm assuming that's what this upgraded. It says it's a Burgle Tech chip. But I'm assuming we was only supposed to find Always one instead of two. Alright. Great... So let's check out our armor. Let's get it. Let's do this. Boot. Ooh, that looks really cool. Let's see, it says. Sleek skin protection character from B parts. Sprint distance so we can run farther. Man, that looks really cool. Now. So it does not appear to apply any side effect whatsoever. It just makes us sprint much farther. It looks really nice. Hmm. So I don't think we can currently craft this. I don't believe it's something we can learn. It's not over here, so I believe the only way to get this as of right now, which is, um, uh, I think, what is it, the 30th of, uh, August or something like that? I don't know. No, September. The 30th of September. Uh, so there is it's supposed to be an update today, so there may be added in that. I don't know. But, um, I do not believe it seems to add anything else. Does not have status. Yeah, no. So it looks like this one doesn't add a side effect. But there we go. It looks really cool. I mean, I don't know how I feel about wearing a a, a previous mini's armor. Honestly, though. I mean, yeah. kind of like kind of like my samurai hat. But there we go, we're going to wrap it up there. So if you enjoyed today's episode, smack that thumbs up button. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. If you got any questions, suggestions, or tips. If you just want to say hi, can I say anything? No, I can't. <laughs> Share she would so it's not easier. Helps them out, helps me out, and it's an amazing thing to do. Remember, y'all, stay safe. Have fun. Yeah. Game on.